welcome back to another video today as you'll have seen from the thumbnail uh, and the, probably the title of the video we are installing a, a coolant cover a coolant expansion tank cover i think that's right so basically it's one of these uh the holes the other side for the two pipe, wrong side two two pipes to come out of there um we've been sent this by uh, the company that I had the uh, gauge from, the pod holder, if you remember. I'll put it up on the screen so you can see. Um, they've sent me this uh, for me to try out. So it comes with an extra cap as well. Uh, and obviously that just drops onto your original cap. And this should just plunk over the top of your expansion tank as well. Um, what we need to do, guys, for me is go and follow their Facebook page. Uh, hit them up on Facebook. Go to their page of follow and um, have a look at all their cool products because they've, they've got such cool um, cool stuff that they've got from different uh, pod gauges to expansion tank covers, bonnet vents, and I believe they supply Nick Wiley. You know, if anyone in the Focus has seen those Nick Wiley, you'll know his cool vents and uh, all his good work that he does. Um, so yeah, go drop them a follow and a like, and uh, I will put their link. Uh, a link to their website in the description but i believe their website is still under construction so it might not be finished by the time this video goes live but um without further ado guys let's go and slap this on the car and guys this is what we're starting with now because uh mine is absolutely horrendous i was going to get a new tank um but like i say this cover will go over there nicely and uh we'll make it look a little bit better and hopefully make the bay look a little bit better so first of all i'm going to do i'm going to clamp these off uh, just in case there's any coolant left in there we don't want that going everywhere so i've got um got a rag and some uh, mole grips i'm just going to put the rag over there with the mole grips over them just to try and prevent those from damaging the, the rubber hoses because these are only the standard ford ones um so yeah let's get those off and then we can slide the cover on quickly and uh, get it sorted. There we have it, all clamped up. And uh, we had a little bit of a seepage there and on there, but nothing to worry about. When you take them off, make sure you keep them up like that so nothing will spill out. Um, so let's grab the cover. And this somehow sort of slides over those. And goes on there like that. I'm just gonna have to try and figure it out because obviously we've got the uh, power steering reservoir in the way so I might just have to relocate that temporarily but because I haven't got my stand with me I'll have to do that off camera so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to move this out of the way so I can slide these two over there and get it to sit on there nicely there we go guys a bit of persuasion I've got this back bit just pushing it over here and it's it's all securely down to push it down make sure it's on yep there we go now to move this, uh, all I've done is literally, it's not a lot, but it was just enough so we can get the uh, two prongs through those holes. Literally just pulls out of its uh, out of its place. Now, there, there's a bit of a U-shape and basically this rubber just sits in there and there's one there and there's one there. So to put it back, see if we can get it both in. Line that one up and line that one up. And just give it a nice push down. That one's moved, so there we go. That pushes down. There you go, nice and easy. Uh, and I did move that out of the way there, just so that obviously it makes it easier when removing it at the end. So now what we're going to do, I can do the rest of this by hand. Screw the expansion cap cover back on. Like that. And then the cap that comes with it has also got the protective film on it as well. So we'll take that off after as well. But then that just slides over there. And voila. The install is almost complete. What we've got to do now is put these back on there. Uh, obviously take the clamp the clamp off. Put the hose connector um, crimp thingy bobbies back over there to keep it safe and sound. And I'll show you the end result. There we have it guys, all on and installed. And it actually looks pretty sick. I really like that. So uh, I think, because I like, that's two of these uh, 3R Designs products I've had. 
because I like them so much I'm probably going to order this plenum cover because um, that will just be finish it off finish it off nicely I think and because I've got this which is matte I don't know why I did it matte but going to get that gloss um, I might even change that I'm not sure I might put the perspex window in here we've got the stuff to do it so I might, might crack on and do that but anyway um, there we have the install of the expansion tank cover and it makes a massive difference to be fair I didn't think it would make that much of a difference but I always found that that was an eyesore because of how dirty and grimy it looked but uh, yeah there we go so guys thank you for watching today um, and to be fair that installs probably took me less than 15 minutes it was pretty easy I was quick and easy and that's what everybody likes isn't it really and it's made such a such a huge difference I think to the engine bay um, the car is booked into Wayside Performance. It's booked in for the actuator to be uh, changed over to a Turbo Smart because, as I've said in previous videos, my boost is not up to where it should be. But uh, we'll get to the bottom of it, and I'm pretty sure the actuator will be um, one of the reasons. So uh, when we're up there, I'm booked in for the I think it's the last week of September. Um, so obviously that that'll be coming uh, soon and uh, we're going to get it on the rollers while we're up there because I've got the own uh, rolling road so we'll uh, be able to see what number she's putting out I don't have very high hopes you know 280-ish maybe if, if I'm lucky I, I really couldn't tell that's enough of me wobbling on um, make sure you go and check out the Facebook page of 3R Design because they do some really cool things uh, as you've seen I've, I've had two of their products and I'm extremely happy with them couldn't be happier with those Really nice guys uh, over there as well. Nice family run business, which is always very good. Um, so yeah, drop them a, a follow on Facebook and uh, drop me a subscribe as well. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.